What could be better than a single malt whiskey made right here in Minnesota? How about two? Today, we're gonna to be trying these two different single malts from J. Carver Distilling in Waconia to find out if they stand up to the other single malts from Scotland on the shelf. Let's drink this now. So the difference between these two single malts from J. Carver is that etiquette is made from a single variety of barley versus trifecta, which is a mix of three varieties of barley. Both etiquette and trifecta were aged for over four years in oak barrels, and they were both bottled at cask strength, which means that they're bumping up against 60% ABV or 120 proof. So on the nose, etiquette is kind of coming at me with some savory notes. It's almost like a rich pumpernickel or rye bread character. Caraway is kind of coming to the fore. Certainly getting some like kind of tart cherry and it's very earthy and minerally. Okay, definitely cask strength. It is hot on the tongue to start with, but let's give it another sip. There's definitely some baking spices here, maybe like a nutmeg. It's also got kind of like a kind of unrefined uh, chocolate or a cacao note to it as well. It lends itself to that earthy flavor. Now, while I don't usually drink my whiskey with an ice cube, I do think that this would probably lend itself well to a couple drops of water here, just to open it up. It definitely takes the edge off of that alcohol hotness and just kind of leaves a more savory flavor throughout the entire drink. If you're a fan of those really earthy, minerally scotches, etiquette is definitely gonna be the whiskey for you. Okay, wow. Trifecta couldn't be a more different whiskey here. I mean, it's a completely different animal. It's got a rich depth of aroma and flavor here. Candied orange peel. Almost like a chocolate covered cherry. Man, that's fucking good. Mm. Wow. Okay, that rich complexity on the nose is definitely coming through in the flavor. It's almost like a chocolate covered espresso bean with like a little bit of candied orange peel with it. It's really soft on the, on the palate. Considering that this is cask strength, I haven't added any water to this one. It's perfect. I wouldn't add anything to it. Now trifecta would definitely be one for the people in the Scotch community that might like a Macallan that's got like just a robust flavor that kind of covers the gamut. This is doing that. It's got complexity. It's got depth of character. It's not one note in any sense and it's not overwhelming in any sense. It's just a really rich round whiskey. Now both of these bottles are going to be at a premium. They are single malts after all, and they have been aging for over four years at J. Carver. Uh, these are retailing for around $80. Now, for my personal taste, I'm going to be going for the trifecta here, and it would be worth the money. It's got this rich depth of character, great flavor, and it's not pulling in any one flavor direction. It's just a really rounded drink. Now, that being said, if you're a fan of the more intense single malt scotches, specifically the ones that are more earthy and mineral, you're gonna be reaching for the etiquette. I mean, it's brash and in your face, and it put hair on Ron Swanson's chest. So I hope you enjoyed this review on these two fine single malts from J. Carver Distilling. If you are interested in picking up either one of these, don't delay. They are super limited. There's only a few bottles left in market, so contact your local retailer and find out if they've got it in stock. If you'll excuse me, I'm gonna head back to my office, put my feet up on my desk, and channel my inner Ron Swanson.